Joining me right now in a first on Fox Business interview is the CEO of Cantor Fitzgerald, Howard Lutnick. Howard, it's good to see you. Great to see you. So weigh in. What's your take on what the markets are telling us, what they told us last year with all that volatility? Well, you know, the fourth quarter had a lot of doom and gloom, which I, I didn't really see. I think, uh, yes, we're going to step off of the 4% growth. But, you know, if we go back to 2 and a quarter, 2 and a half percent, it doesn't really seem like doom and gloom. So I think we're in a better position than we think. I think it's slow and steady wins the race. I think the U.S. economy is in okay shape. Europe, not so much. But I think the U.S. is still pretty soft. We, we didn't have any high-yield debt issuance in the month of December. Um, I mean, credit markets have been tight. How do you see it? Well, the, the spread is widened across the board, so you saw all the investment banks had tough times with it because they own a lot of assets. But, you know, everything was priced to perfection. It was all too tight. So if it, it widens out to more proper numbers, I think you'll see these markets come back. They'll come back big, and things will sort of soften up again, maybe in the second, towards the end of the second quarter. But I think generally the U.S. is okay. Yeah. Well, the U.S. is certainly the best the best of all of them because you got real messiness going on in Europe, whether it's Britain Egypt. leaving the EU or uh, budget Italy. problems in Italy. Italy. Yeah. How about you know France right. uh, and protesters there? And then you've got China. Do you worry about what's going on in China? Well, China's slowing, but you know, I can't really rely on the numbers, so I don't really know. But you can You're feel right. it's slowing. You can feel uh, what's happening. And, and the global economy is slowing, but the U.S. is still in pretty good shape. And remember, there's still lots of energy left and lots of juice left from the tax cuts. You know, so these companies are still going to be able to invest. You think still there's a runway money. for the tax cuts? I do. I think it keeps us going. It was like, you know, like Pulp Fiction. They sort of hit it in the heart with that adrenaline pump. <laughs> you know, the U.S. economy jumps up. You still got all that money overseas that can come back to America. And that's just going to help us keep us growing. Not exciting. But two and a half percent, two and a quarter percent, it's not too bad. Tell us how you're repositioning the business, Howard. I mean, I was really interested in hearing about your partnership with Anshu Jain, the former co-CEO of Deutsche Bank, uh, getting into expanding investment banking, prime brokerage. Tell us about it. Yeah, so Canada Fitzgerald is a uh, middle market investment bank. So we are sort of high touch. We really care about hedge funds that are like $2 billion. Basically, whoever's just too small for the giant guys to take care of and really show love and affection. And there's a lot of them. And there are a lot of them. So that's our focus and that's our business model. We have a great healthcare franchise. We have a great prime brokerage business. And we just care. You know, we're sort of the biggest little guy. That's the way I think about it. I'm not trying to compete with the big guys. We're on this side of the river just taking care of our customers. Yeah. So what do you want to change? So what investment we're doing, banking? Yeah, so we're growing investment banking in a big way. We just went into energy and infrastructure, uh, and that's a global business. Our prime brokerage business is growing in, in leaps and bounds. And, uh, you know, we really, our fixed income business, our real estate businesses, they're just, they're just doing really well. But we know who we are, and we know our space. Where, where, where are you seeing growth in real estate right now? Tell us about that, because a lot of people say, look, things are slowing down. You're pushing further into the market with your commercial real estate firm, uh, Newmark. What are you seeing out there? Well, so Newmark is doing really, really well because low interest rates, I mean, granted, they've crept up a little, but low interest rates are still, to us, right, remember all those years of fives and six and sevens, it's still pretty low. We thought that was low. <laughs> so, you know, Newmark is in a great asset class, right? We sell buildings, we finance buildings, and we help lease buildings, and we're growing in leaps and bounds, and uh, it's just a great business, and uh, we hire the best talent, give them the best technology, and so the numbers are fantastic. Newmark was up in the 30s last year, and it's and it feels really, really good. The business feels great, and uh, and now it's public. You know, we spun it off last year, so it's out there, and uh, so far, so good. Yeah, that was a big deal. Congrats on that. <laughs> Thank so you. So are the markets, do you think, stabilized this year? I mean, what, what do you expect in terms of when you when you're talking to big clients and you're seeing the flow I, I think the Fed has got one more raise in them not two and not three I think they they need to get one away from zero one for 2019 one for 2019 yeah. so I think they'll they'd like to do it they'd like to go a little slower you know they dream of doing more because remember the further away from zero the more gunpowder they have to jump in in case something bad happens mm -hmm. right so they don't want to be near zero it's sort of like moving they want to get past second base which is all they're at now so the idea is but the economy of the world is so weak, which we've been talking about. So they know they can't push too hard. So I think one hike, and then that helps the real estate market. That sort of stabilizes everyone. You're going to see the stock market jump again. Once they say, yeah, I think we're going to hold off for a while, I think you're going to see really, really positive 2019 from that perspective. Sounds like you're bullish on equities, too. I like them because I think there's so much negativity sort of running around and everyone's so worried. Mm. I mean, it's like outside here. It's pretty nice. You're yeah. a little cold. Yeah. Granted, a little cold, but it's nice. And yeah. that's, I think the U.S. economy may be a little cold, but it's nice. Okay. W were you surprised that as the Fed raised rates in 18, 
the 10 year yield went down. You, you know, real, real rates actually went lower. Right, because people don't expect that this is going to continue for the long term. Yeah. So you've got, that's what a flat yield curve means. The flat yield curve says they're raising them today, but come on, this isn't going to last. I can see the rest of the world slowing down. It's just not going to last. And that's what a flat yield curve is. So I think the I, Fed has to pull it in on the unwind. No, they're, they're just going to go slow. I mean, they're just going slow. They're looking at what's happening in the world, and they're a little worried. So they're just going to go slower. And that's why I think the U.S. economy is in okay shape. The real estate markets are going to be in good shape because interest rates are going to stabilize. They're not so bad. You know, that's going to do really well for Newmark. Newmark's going to do great. And then, of course, uh, we love volatility. You know, BGC Partners, my core company, loves volatility. And what's better than now? Right so now, we're jumping around. Great for you. Oh, yeah, we love, we love when it moves around. You know, we don't like boring Fridays yeah. in the summer when nothing's happening. Right. We like a little action. So these markets are great for us, great for our business. And, uh, and it feels really good. And we're, we're creating lots of uh, digital. We're creating, turning the business digital. It's been, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun here because everybody's talking about 5G, blockchain, yeah. digital this, digital that. You know, it's, it's kind of fun because all your clients are talking about they need to embrace what's going to change. And, and that you're makes right life there. easier. You are right there. Howard, right. it's great to see you. Great to see you. Thanks so much for weighing in on all of the above. Howard Lutnick joining us, Cantor Fitzgerald.